Today I'm going to show you how to deform, contort or mangle an item of your choice, just like Dirk Coy in his shape studies. This is a great exercise if you want to practice modelling and mesh manipulation, so I suggest you give it a go once you've learnt the Blender basics. I decided to recreate the orange shape study. First, I added a UV sphere, created a new material with an emission surface, and for the colour I chose an image texture and imported a picture of an orange I found online. In UV editing, I rotated the sphere so that the top of the sphere was visible, projected from view, and moved and scaled the image texture appropriately so that the top of the orange coincided with the top of the sphere. I set up my shot and set the camera's view to orthographic. In the object data properties, I added a basis shape key and then a second shape key, selecting the shape key edit mode and setting the value to 1. Then I could start deforming the orange into strange and bizarre shapes. I'm not going to go into detail as to how I recreated all these shapes, but here are a few tips and tricks to keep in mind. My transformation orientation was set to normal, and sometimes local, in order to move the faces along the normal axis. I often had proportional editing turned on, in order to stretch or displace areas of the orange into cones or bulges. When a texture was too stretched, I selected an edge and used the shortcut GG to slide the edges more homogeneously across the area of deformation. To create a spike, I placed the 3D cursor at the end of the spike, set the pivot point to the 3D cursor so that I could scale from that cursor. And this tip only applies to this specific example, but I found it annoying that the face selection colour was the same as the orange, so I went into Preferences and Theme to change the face selection colour. Once you are finished with your first deformation, bring the first shape key's value back to zero, create a new shape key, set its value to one, and then you can start on a new deformation. Once you're finished and have multiple shape keys, all you have to do is keyframe between them. Keyframe the first shape key from 0 to 1. For the second shape key, make sure it is set relative to the first shape key. Every subsequent shape key must deform relative to the previous shape key. The last shape key should be just a copy of the basis shape key, with no deformation. And now you have your shape study animation. In this example, I use an orange which consists of a simple sphere, so if you want to deform a more complicated object, you may need to model it first, and that will involve a bit more prep work. Subscribe for more tutorials and creative experiments, and you can follow me on Instagram to see them there as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.